Hey, use your cool stuff. Your videos are great and you are lovely and thoughtful. Thank you. Never ask for dating advice, but hey, never too late to try something new. Basically, I feel like I hit a wall with my dating life. Last year, after moving to London, I went to, on hundreds of dates through Tinder. Most went fine, some went well, and I hooked up with a bunch of girls for a few brief links. It was nice, but eventually I kind of wanted a longer or more meaningful relationship, but couldn't really find something that lasted. I suffer from borderline personality disorder. It's pretty serious and has affected a lot of my life, landing me in hospital numerous, numerous times. It's been a relatively recent revelation, but I worry it's a barrier to relationships. And after so many seemingly successful dates, but never evolving into lasting relationships, I stopped using Tinder and figured out would meet another woman through my day-to-day -day life, which happened among my, my various Tinder days despite my shy gaydar. But nothing's happened. It's been months and haven't met anyone or gone on a date again. I still want a relationship, but I have to swear that my mental health is an obstacle I can't get over. I have nice times on dates, people are happy to invite me back to theirs, but just serious relationships aren't happening. Is it me? Is this enough information to assess my situation? Have I no clue how to end this? Have I the, no the clue question, I think. To... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Will I just keep talking forever? I think was the point. Yeah, no, but uh, I think you have provided us uh, with a lot of information. Uh, first of all, yeah, no, Tinder is like a wasteland. So I'm amazed that you kept on it for as long as you have. Like, I definitely, yeah, I've been quite open. I've been like on it these days. And uh, yeah, it's just full of, it's either fuck boys or like dweeby boys is how I say it, which is kind of bad. But it or me! Me, <laughs> but it sounds to me like this is a gay woman. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I guess I different. don't know what the... I mean, I've done, Caught, not clear enough. I've done no, that half like, of Tinder, and I, yeah, it's just as hard. Like, and the, like, yeah, the idea of real life trying to assess whether a woman is queer is fucking terrifying. So I wonder if perhaps a more, uh, you know, a more, uh, a not established, I don't know, a m more commitment relating website like uh, okay Cupid would be of more use here because it doesn't seem like you're just interested in hookups as such you are after a relationship and the thing is, is that in that well, on that, those websites you can actually if you wish you can talk about your mental health many people do mm. yeah because you can actually you have the space to write a, a complete profile and yeah. do all the questions my uh, so on the borderline personality sort of thing I completely understand that it's a really serious illness someone close to me also suffers from it but plot twist she is in a committed loving relationship and is doing really well so it can happen and yes she is in three different types of therapy and this and this and group stuff and individual stuff and i hope that you're getting that kind of help if that's what's appropriate for you because you seem to suggest that the borderline personality disorder is what's getting in the way in of the, the way. dating but mm. you haven't said why or how you think that is like because it seems to me like there's two things one thing is that just the dates aren't turning into a relationship but the other thing is that you have BPD and you're worried about that affecting it. And so I wonder whether that part of it is in your head or it is actually affecting the way you date. Yeah, agreed. Uh, you also, also to second this, I know people with BPD absolutely in long, loving long-term mm -hmm. relationships. Um, but I think you're also spent here. You're exhausted. My God, did you move to London what, like a year and a half ago and you've gone to like yeah. dozens of dates? Yeah, last year. Oh my year. days. Also, be a bit more picky, you know? Like, I don't know, like don't just yeah. go on dates just because someone said to you that that's, that's that, that, that someone invited you on a date. Also, you're, the way that you frame this is like, oh, and people are like happy to invite me back to their places as such. But are, are you happy with that? Yeah, it doesn't sound like you're taking much control over your own yeah. dating destiny, if you like. Yeah. I, yeah, I understand, like, if a lot of people are, like, hitting on you, that's, like, really cool, and it's, like, it's a buzz, but that doesn't, I mean, hundreds of people are not going to have an emotional connection with me, that's just very unlikely. Yeah, and I think so, the, also the more, kind of, when dates, the less, the more desensitized they become as I think well. so as well. The more you expect a certain kind of routine from the date as well, yeah. like, okay, we'll chat, we'll go for dinner, we'll go back and hook up, I'll never see you again, and you decide that that's Literally, the routine. just, yeah, you, sit, you kind of get stuck in that cycle you know you don't necessarily and you always think someone's gonna fuck you over as such yeah. so you won't allow you won't allow them to fuck you over so you're gonna yeah. do it yourself or something like that well not even fuck you over you know what i mean like yeah you just develop this like the shield yeah and that definitely just yeah puts us in spaces where we lose trust and i also like i don't feel like like i have to say this but like you don't have to sleep with someone on like a first or second date if mm. if you're wanting to build something more like obviously a lot of great relationships can be built from like a shag like i've had them too but it like it's not a necessary first step and if you actually are making a connection with someone it's okay to take it a bit slower and to see that relationship build so you don't end up feeling like oh i just had another one night stand cool great like 
as a thing because yeah if you are serious about trying to find someone you, you, you I mean most of the time I feel like I know within the first hour of a date whether it could go somewhere beyond a one night stand really yeah I so can't tell I just fall for people it's really sad yeah I don't and, and also they I put spaghetti it. around my ears right yeah. they go oh and this and this and this I'm like sure yes oh my god yeah of course and it turns yeah. out that's not the case I've been also on the other side of that as well but like I don't know I so can't tell at all uh, I don't know, it's because I'm, cause I'm very critical and I don't fool people, so I'm always looking for signs as to why it wouldn't be a, a permanent oh thing. Oh my god, I'm like the other way around. So if I find like they, so haven't, they haven't like raised any like, I don't know, orange flags in the time we've been talking, I'm like, okay. Well like you can change people, that's the thing, yeah. I guess, I guess, because I, I'm into like changing people's minds and opinions and political beliefs as well, that also they're just, ha- they usually happen to be stupidly hot, so I'm just like, I'll do anything for you. Yeah. <laughs> But that's the thing, like, you need to, like, kind of, I think you need to pick your priorities yes, and chase them yes. down instead of, like, yeah, waiting for something to happen to you or ending up in these situations that end because because they end. Like, I'm not saying it's your fault, like, often we go into a Tinder or otherwise date hoping it's going to be something better and it turns out that person just wants a one night stand. Also, the way that it sounds, uh, that's not to mean that your dates are not super hot or whatnot. The way that, like, I just, that's... Mine, I, I think it, No, yeah, the way that that, that sound is like, ooh, I fall for them because like, they are, like, happen to be super hot or whatever. That sounded as if yours are not. I'm, I'm sure yours are oh, yeah, equally as. I remember one night stand was not attractive. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but but please no. But I'm, I guess I guess I have this like stere- very stereotypical view, and in that sense they tend to be. And I just like for me that's enough a lot of the time. That's all. Mm. That's not to say that. You know, no. Yeah. So, but if yeah, I just think you're maybe making the connection between the BPD and the not being able to have a serious relationship. That may or may not be true because I know it can absolutely affect people's interpersonal stuff. And you need a lot of honesty, and your partner needs to have a lot of patience with you, which is a true thing. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like. You're trying to find reasons why this isn't happening and launching on that, which isn't good for your mental health either, if that makes sense. Sorry for well, I guess it's around. like a bit of a, I, I mean, it's like one of the s- symptoms, I suppose, is to be in that, like, darker space, you know? Yeah, like paranoia. Like, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess just thinking, like, things won't go my way, essentially. Mm. But, you know, that will pass. Again, that's a lot of your, you know, the chemicals in your in your brain doing the wussa wussa and kind of pushing you towards this this feeling of, of helplessness yeah. but also not to say that london can be an incredibly lonely place uh, oh, though yeah. though like there's so many attractive people around and everything and but still, how do you talk to them it's so hard to talk to people unless you're part of a small scene like it's so weird yeah there's so many different there's so many different cl- cl- clusters of people and i don't even mean like in terms of friendship groups but like okay what well, are you clubbing in old street are you clubbing in like peckham are you are you dating someone? I don't know. Are you, are, it's, it's just too big a city for there to be a cohesive anywhere. Yeah, like, yeah. It can be really overwhelming, and I completely un- yeah. Also, queer clubs, you know. Go. What about those? Maybe just trying out going to actually like, actually I'm struggling. Like I'm I'm a queer woman, and I've been in London now about what nine months, ten months. And I'm struggling to find like queer people. But I think on Facebook, surely with. you can find like I don't know queer part. Or, there's lots in Dalston and stuff like the that. The only so queer yeah, one I found that would, like keeps talking about it is like a fetish club, which isn't really my thing. Like, but yeah, I mean, there aren't many like queer places that aren't either gay man gay or like very into like a certain kind of aesthetic. Sure. There isn't more like lefty maybe like alternative queer spaces yeah. here as there are in other cities, which is a real shame. Yeah. But yeah. Also, Facebook groups for meeting people as friends that you can then build a thing with. There are loads of really good ones that I've talked about in other videos that are great for meeting like-minded queers and just having a laugh because you're not going to have a relationship with someone unless you have a laugh and get to know them first. Like, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Just always, you know, just come to Clapton Games. Always. There's lo- lots of lovely people there. Also, there's a the ladies' team now. Yeah, well, I, that's the thing. I was going to say that. I was like, does that mean there'll be more queer women? I mean, Does that sound bad? It's intriguing me, okay? Maybe that means that I'm like, no. I'm a I don't know. But I don't know. Like, what's wrong with wanting to see women run around in a pitch wearing shorts? Like, yeah, so we like to do it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I literally, that's what I was like, uh, uh, that I didn't know how to finish that. But yeah, basically there is now a like, Captain Women's team maybe more likely to find queer women then but also don't just go just to like oh no, also just hook up and that sort of yeah. stuff but it's you know a really fun community we'll we're there yes yes <laughs> come yes. hang out with us at Clapton yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right oh, oh we hope that was okay yeah. so again let us know how you're doing also on this note just to say thank you so much for all the people that are like giving us kind of feedback and or telling us how things have went after yeah after our advice to them that's been really fascinating yeah. people 
will go like, yeah, I took this song, I tried this mm. song, this one didn't particularly work, but like that really did, and thank you so much, and all of that, like yeah. that's amazing to us. And I just want to say like regarding the mental health stuff, like we're not professionals in that area, yes. and like if you're not already having professional help, definitely do that because it will change your life, and if you are then like, amazing, that's super cool that you're taking care of yourself like that, and big love. Yay!